Well, you know, to jump right in here, is I came up on this, uh, this is a flywheel off of uh, Martin's three horsepower. Um, and, and you know, I don't, I don't know a hundred percent of the history of this engine. Other, yeah, I, I don't. So it be, I should not try to tell you, but I think Martin told me that this engine was really rusty at one time, really bad. And uh, was uh, stripped down and restored back to this condition. Well, somewhere along its life, someone has made this governor collar. And wh what brought it to my attention when I took it off here is it's really it's it's loose. It's uh, it's not worn out. I don't think it's just too big. Uh, well, I'm gonna take it all apart there and get that on the bench, but. And I'm not sure if it's the collar worn or the flywheel. If it's the flywheel, you're just, that's the size you got to deal with unless you go to some major fix. This governor, you can fix that by replacing it with an original one. So I'll try to get an order in uh, to get a really nice one of these. But the giveaway is it's uh, been cut with a torch. Look like it's a wonderful job. I, I commend the person that made that thing because it's kind of complicated. It goes through yonder and all that rides on it. There, there's another part of it in there. You, yeah, and it works. It functions up to now. But I think we have the opportunity to fix this because it, it does have... Your governor part should be in, in really good condition. So, but it's interesting. If I don't find a really good one, just use this one uh, as is. Because it's, it's a good, it's a good job. It just, it don't fit.
It's in time. Well, as you can take note of this crankshaft and where that the bearing has been corroded to the crankshaft right there, enough to where it has worn the crosshatch pattern that's in the in the Babbitt bearing. But it's in time and all. I had checked that before. Uh, some of these parts that on any of these old engines, this engine's over a hundred years old if you take note of that. It's a 1923 model. I believe that's what it is. I'll have to look that up. But you you see the, the 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 discoloration there on this engine block and what what was a happening the reason that did that is my assessment of it is the compression was blowing by the piston I guess through the ring gap and the breather being stopped up then that made a compression inside the crank case so that compression when that piston come back it had to go somewhere so it blew out around this housing these don't have a gasket on here but they do need to have a permatex sealer either number one or number two. We'll get that side cover off there. You may have taken note that I didn't remove that bearing housing cap on the other side because I'm going to leave the crankshaft right there where it is for the time being as I remove this side cover.
That's how you remove a side cover off of one of these McCormick Darren M's. That's how you remove a crankshaft from a three horsepower M International or McCormick Dairy. Got her down to the bare block, uh, you know, not counting some studs in there. Fuel system. Other than that, I start putting this thing back together tomorrow. I'm holding that cylinder sleeve out. Get up in there with some lacquer thinner. I clean that groove out right there. I'm going to put a new O-ring in there. 